to talk to you. All right, talk to okay. you. Everybody okay. Else, everybody else decided to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you and interrupt. Just listen to me. Okay. Okay. We'll do. We'll I'm, do. Okay. Maggie. God damn it, Maggie. <laughs> I don't even know how to put into words what you did. I want you to know that Jasmine is in a group chat right now. Going crying. crazy. She oh my crying. god. Did you see me cheering? Like, I did. Okay. okay but as but soon but as I looked up, I was like, oh my god. Maggie, um, there's so many things that I can talk about in terms yes. of this win because, first of all, you went from 12th mm. to 5th. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then you went from 5th to 1st. Mm -hmm. And then, hold on. Then you had to sit there and yeah. wait to see what Val was going to do. Oh my god. You know, she know how to pull through. But she do know how to pull through. So, how, like, what was what was the whirlwind of emotions going through competition? Because girl, I would be doing back to the time. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, if I if I could jump high enough with my big self, you already did. You, you did. You did you know <laughs> I would try to. Um, but I I I was just kind of shaken up, you know, because. Val, like you said, is a big competitor. So I just knew, I was like, she got one in her. She might mess around and throw 71 a day. We don't know. Val is that girl. You know, I've, I've seen her be down and out and boom, she hits one. And so like going, waiting for her to go probably had me the most sickest I've ever felt in my life. Like I, my heart was pounding and I was like, because this is the girl that could actually do it. <laughs> out of everybody there, I'm like, Val was the girl to upset everybody. And I was like, just sit there and breathe. So. The, the other thing that's crazy about that is that I know that, that Val is feeling really sad too because like she's been at these championships, like she's done her thing and she has yet to come home with a gold medal. But I'm sure that you've looked up to her a million yes. times because as a discus thrower, like of course who would not look up to Val Alman? Yes. So just what are, what are some words that you would that you would say to her, you know, with her not being able to come home with a medal? I tell her not to stop, you know, because the whole the whole US, you know, women's discus team is chasing after Val. Um, and that's what happens when people chase after you. When you're the best, like people, you have a target on your back. Um, and she should have no shame in, in losing because she has helped to create such a good environment. You know, she has been the precursor to people like me coming up, um, you know, so I'm just, I'm thankful that we have her in our country, you know, especially because she get us that vibe so we get four people to go. So oh, you, you get just another chance uh, to make a team. Um, but now you got the bike. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just very excited that I was able to be on a level as her because you know sometimes people seem very untouchable, um, and then now you get to tell yourself, well, like, well, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm up there too now, maybe, you know. Take us to that fifth row. Huh? And you would say you were talking to Chris, and you were like. Man, I've been through some hard shit. It was, it was some stuff going on hard this season. Time. But now you came out with a gold medal. So are you comfortable telling me like some of the stuff that you was going through? Um, so I I got sick in February, um, and I was off for like 28 days. Then I had to come back, and then I had an amazing open uh, season opener at um, UCSD at 63, um, 90 high or 90 low, and. After that, like I just took a nosedive and I was struggling. I was like at 60 or lower in most of the meets. Um, and I just, I wasn't anywhere where I was in 22 where I was like on a roll. Um, and then things hit uh, with my European tour when I went to Florence and I do, I think 55 at the back of And after that, it was not just a physical toll, it was a mental toll of trying to get up to go to practice, of having a rough day and being like, you have to show up again the next day because I really didn't want to. Um, and at the, like at the time, like I couldn't, I can't tell you how many times, like coaches see the worst out of you sometimes. Um, we would, we finished practice and he's like, it's actually a good day. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then I just take my shoes off and just, woo. And he's like, why? And I was like, I don't like it. I, I, I'm very hard on myself and I could be kind of a pessimist, but you know, I, I was struggling so hard mentally. Um, and USA was literally the light at the end of the tunnel. That 65 meter throw at the end uh, let me know that like everything was gonna be okay, and that what I was doing was right, um, and that it was okay to have crappy, crappy throws as long that we made that team. And so we made that and team. That's what you did. Yes. So the last thing I got to say before you know they, they, they get up here and get mad at me um, is Sidious is so proud of you. So you know when you want to pull up on the show tomorrow, we're gonna have some yes, champagne for you. You know yes, what I mean. You know your family. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> T take us through that fifth, that, that fifth, that fifth row there. I mean, how do you PR by four meters, thirteen feet? Like, did it just feel perfect when you when it left your hand? Did you know, oh my God, I did something special? Yeah, I I can only tell it, uh, say it as like it was just a feeling. Like I was like I finally got all of it. I, I finally finally got all the way through um, this season. I've either been I've either been I've been all the way on the left side. I've just been throwing out the sector. That's how my first throw was, um, and so I finally felt like I got around in a situation where when it 
released out of my hand, I was like, that was it. That's what we've been speaking about. That's what I've been meditating about. Like that was the moment that I was like, yes, like we finally did it. Um, especially with that that 65 as well um, in the third round to get me into the finals. I was like, that was the best out of it you had. Um, and I was just so proud because it it gave me the confidence to put a backswing in and to go after it. Have you ever done anything close to that in practice? Like what's the? Uh, yes. So so practice was indicating, you know, uh, 65 plus. Um, and I was like, okay, like we have a chance to do something great here. And even even then, in the 65, I was like, something is missing, something is missing. Um, but we were just so happy to just be, you know, 65 Thank you. plus in practice. And I'm I'm just glad that it finally came to fruition. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, a five meters improvement in a world of final is pretty amazing. Yes. Thank you. So how did you manage that? Uh, was it, as you said, everything came together in that? Yeah, the, star, the stars aligned. Um, I finally was able to use a backswing. If you notice in the prelims, I I didn't do a full throw. I did a static. Um, so my full throw just aligned, and I was able to, to get everything together. Now, U.S. women have been...